Hello friends, welcome to another random Steam CD key unboxing. With uh, September coming to the close, that wraps up the month of September. Although I did not do a summary for September yet, but there's a reason for that. And you'll find out why sometime today. Also, I want to note that if you watch these and you aren't a subscriber, you definitely want to check out my channel tomorrow because tomorrow I'm going to be starting a giveaway that you will definitely want to be involved in. Even if you're not into keys, this is something really, really big. So you will definitely want to get into this for sure. I can't imagine anybody wouldn't. It's probably the biggest giveaway I've done. So you definitely want to check that out. And this will run for the entire month of October. So you will definitely want to watch for the giveaway video tomorrow. There will probably be two of them. So watch out for that. And uh, let's get on with the show. So since we didn't go to Kinguin for the entire month of September, I figured we would ah, go to go to Kinguin and pick up a 10x random Steam CD key pack. And we paid 451 for it. And basically, Kinguin guarantees in this a Metacritic score of 60 and up. Uh, but at least 60 on Metacritic, which I never really bothered to check because honestly, it really doesn't matter. I have a 50% or more positive overall review on Steam. Uh, price is random Steam games that are $2.99. Not considering Steam sales, if you already have the game in your library, you can return it if you buy the buyer's protection, which would add a buck 19 onto the order. So if you buy the buyer's protection, I have yet to have them stand behind it. So I don't buy it anymore. And I did have one where the key wouldn't activate and they refused to honor it. So just know that there is that. All right, on with the show. Welcome to Steam. And the first game we got was The Book of Desires. Explore an intriguing world in The Book of Desires, a thrilling hidden object puzzle adventure game. Ashley had a horrible dream where she traveled to a strange world. When she awoke, she realized it was just a nightmare, but her reality turns out to be just as scary. I don't know that I'd consider this a horror game to fall into our October horror fest which probably is going to start tomorrow. I better get on that and do something. So my goal in October, play a lot of horror games. Anyway, zero one line now, two peak today, and six all-time peak. These are really not my type of games. Next game on the list, Culling of the Cows. Culling of the Cows is a side-scrolling shooter, tower defense game. You will take the role of Sammy, a soliloquizing schizophrenic farmer with a self-prophesying -proph mission to lay waste to the disease spreading over his farm. Poor guy. 132 online now, 207 peak today, 1,483 all-time peak. And I get this information because I have tied my Steam account to my steamdv.info account, and it plugs in player values for me. So if you want to see this, go to steamdb.info and register your Steam account on there and it will, it's a handy service to have anyway because it tells you about everything that's on sale, but it will filter out the things that you already own from the sales and it will give you more insight into what you're buying when you do buy something. Next game, uh, Pixel Puzzles 2 Hente. So we, uh, we really can't get a pack lately without getting this. I have lots and lots of these. So uh, I, I really should play this someday. Pixel Puzzles 2 anime is a traditional style jigsaw puzzle game in a kawaii style. 149 online now, 149 peak today, 1945 all time peak. That's a lot puzzle game pixel puzzles 2 birds comes next the foul themed jigsaw puzzler 
Pixel Puzzler, Pixel Puzzles 2 Birds is a traditional style jigsaw puzzle game with crabs scurrying around, so watch your fingers. 137 online now, 284 peak today, 786 all time peak. Next game, Alien Hallway. I don't understand why all the aliens would be in the hallway. Players measure stamina with a never-ending stream of green creatures within the borders of a special military mission. I I don't know. Zero online now. Three peak today. Twenty all-time peak. Next on the list, Alien Shooter Revisited. Crowds of bloodthirsty monsters crawling from every corner of the secret research base. Base, gloomy basements, modern labs, darkness changing into blazing bulbs. The only usual thing is you're in a bad place alone and there's no one to help you. Three online now, five peak today, 20 all time peak. The carnage in this game looks absolutely extreme. I mean, you blow some stuff up. Alrighty. Next game, Asteroid Bounty Hunter. Asteroid Bounty Hunter is a space shooter mixed with an interesting with interesting boss fights and breathtaking visuals, with a reward system to take your skill to another level. Three online now, seven peak today, two thousand five hundred and twenty-four all-time peak. Seems to be a popular game. Next on the list, Charlie's Adventure. In this hard-to-master platformer, you will slay zombies and avoid deadly traps and unleash your true potential through a variety of skills and abilities. Charlie looks kind of kind of evil. I think maybe instead of solving it, he caused it. One online now, four peak today, 378 all-time peak. Next, Duke of Alpha Centauri. Duke of Alpha Centauri is a space shooter with amazing graphics. The main goal of our game is to have a lot of fun while blowing up hordes of different types of enemies. Engage in boss fights, upgrade your ship and ship systems until you're able to show off in an endless mode. Zero online now, four peak today, 344 all time peak. And the final game in our list, Survive in Space. Got a lot of shooters this time. The game is spread over 50 different levels, and Sasaki must fight through them all to redeem his people. The game features five powerful bosses that you will encounter at the end of each sector, every nine levels. Each boss is a skill puzzle of his own, with shifting mechanisms, shifting mechanics, and environments that will, that will something. Two online now, four peak today, 334 all time peak. Alrighty folks, let's go through our summary and see how we did. So we bought it on Kingwin for $4.51. Book of Desire, $6.99 on Steam, $1.16 on Kingwin, and it's 95 cents on G2A. Calling of the Cows, $12.99, which I find hard to believe, on Steam, 43 cents on Kingwin, and 32 cents on G2A. Pixel Puzzles 2 Anime, $9.99 on Steam, $0.54 cents on Kinguin, $0.58 cents on G2A. Pixel Puzzles 2 Birds, $9.99 on Steam, $0.49 cents on Kinguin, $0.29 cents on G2A. Alien Hallway was $4.99 on Steam, $0.58 cents on Kinguin, $0.58, or was it, uh, $0.77 cents on G2A. Alien Shooter Revisited, $4.99 on Steam, $2.37 for some reason on Kinglin, and $0.77 on G2A. Asteroid Bounty Hunter was $2.99 on Steam, $0.44 on Kinglin, and $0.52 on G2A. Charlie's Adventure was $3.99 on Steam, $0.85 on Kinglin, and $1.29 on G2A. Duke of Alpha Centauri was $2.99 on Steam, not available at this time on Kinguin, and $0.41 cents on G2A. Survive in Space was $4.99 on Steam, $0.45 cents on Kinguin, and $0.69 cents on G2A. Which brings our total for this day 
to 64.90 on Steam, $7.31 on Kingwin, and $6.59 on G2A. So, do you think we got our money's worth? Do you think we got ripped off? Do you, what do you think about these keys still? I mean, we've got nine months of data in our spreadsheet right now, which you can check out as well down in the link below and uh, see everything we got going all the way back to January. So this experiment from January until now to see what we bought, what we got, where we got, well, I started recording where we got it from and how much we paid a few months ago, but it doesn't go all the way back. But you can check out what we do have recorded, which was what we got, and see what you think. Anyway, that's it for today for this video. Uh, and again, like I said, you will definitely want to come back uh, tomorrow and check out the giveaways that I will be posting. One of them is the normal weekly giveaway, and the other one is a very special giveaway. So you'll want to see the details for that. But until then, I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching.